Oh, what's up guys? So today we're going to continue our series and I'm going to teach you how to fire the weapons, okay? So let's begin. First things we need is go to our weapon system folder and right here we're going to create an interface to communicate with our weapon. So right click, blueprints, blueprints interface and call it BPI weapon, okay? Open it up and the first function will be called fire on and we can add another function called fire off okay that's it we don't need anything else we can compile and save this and we can close this now we can go to our bp weapon and add that interface so class settings add bpi weapon and compile and save and now we should have those functions on the interfaces right here so we can right click this one and say implement events and we can do the same on this one and implement event. Okay. Now, uh, right here, we're going to say event tick because uh, we want to be running on a loop because we want to be constantly shooting if our weapon is automatic. Okay. So from here, we're going to say gate. And this is basically uh, like a door. Okay. So if the door is open, the rest of the code uh, executes. If not, uh, nothing happens. Okay. Now, if we uh, call this fire on event, we want to open the gate. And if we call the fire off, we want to close the gate. Okay. Now, from here, we're going to say do once. And uh, here, now we're going to need an event which will hold the fire effects and all that stuff. So here we can uh, add a custom event which will be called fire. Okay. And uh, for now we can just say print and right here we're going to say fire. Okay. That's it. So we can continue our logic here and call that fire event. And after this, we can say delay. And the duration of this delay, we're going to promote it to a variable and call it fire rate. Okay will be the fire rate of our weapon. Now, once this is completed, we want to reset the do once, okay? And we can double click here. Uh, this will make sure that we can execute the function again after the delay is completed, okay? And now uh, on the fire on event, we want to check if the weapon is automatic. So here we can say branch and this condition we're going to promote it to a variable and call it automatic okay and if it is we're going to open the gate and if it is not we're going to go under the gate and execute the functionality normally okay so we can double click here and organize this uh that's basically it uh now we have our fire logic okay now we can continue uh, and uh, do this fire function here. So here, the only thing we're going to do is play some effects, okay? So here we can say play sounds at location, okay? And the sound, we can promote it to a variable and call it weapon sound, like this. And the location is going to be um, get actor location and we're going to get the location of our weapon, okay? Now, uh, the only thing uh, that we're going to do now is just attach some effects to the tip of our weapon, okay? So right here, we're going to say spawn emitter attached, this one, and the emitter will be a variable, which we'll call a flash emitter, like this, now the attach to component will be our skeletal mesh okay so we can move this here and connect this here and the attach point name will be the bone of our weapon where we want to attach this effect so if we go to our resources folder to our pistol skeleton right here we can see that uh we have a bone here which is the tip okay both weapons have this bone if you don't have it you can uh, create it or you can use your own uh, bones so uh right here we're going to go uh, to attach point name and set it to tip okay and that's basically it 
Now uh, we need to add these new properties to our table so that we can have different effects and sounds for our weapons. Okay, so we can compile and save this. We can go to contents, inventory, categories, weapons and open our weapon struct. And right here we're going to add those new properties. So here we can say um, automatic, okay, which will be a boolean. Now we can add another one which will be the fire rates, okay, which will be uh, floats. And now we can see the other types. Uh, so f if we go back here, the sound is a sound base, okay, and the emitter is a particle system, okay. So we can go back to our structure and add those two. So the weapon sounds will be a sound base and it will be a soft object reference, okay? And we can add the other one, which will be the flash emitter, and this will be a particle system, okay? And it will be a soft object reference. Now, that's it, we can save this. Uh, now, we can go to our table and fill up those values on our weapons. So, the pistol, uh, we can set the fire rate to point one, okay. Uh, the sound will be the pistol Q, okay, and the flash emitter will be the pistol muzzle flash, okay. Now uh, on the rifle, we can set the rifle to automatic, and the fire rate will be point one. Now the sound will be the same because we don't have other and the flash emitter will be the assault rifle muzzle flash, okay? Now we can save this, and now we need to go back to our PP weapon and update those values. So right here, uh, we can go to the update values function that we created before, and if we expand this, we should have those values over here, okay? Now we can get our variables, so the automatic and say set, Okay, now we can get that from our table. Now we can set the fire rates like this and do the same thing. Okay, connect it here. And uh, the weapon sound and the flash emitter, we need to load them. So here we are going to say load. And we're going to cast to its original type, which is cast to sounds base okay and now we can grab our weapon sound and set and connect this right here okay now the last thing is the flash emitter so we can grab it and say load and now cast to its original type cast to particle system and now we can set our value so set and connect this here, okay? And that's it. Uh, now, the last thing we need to do is go to our character and call the fire functions to be able to fire, okay? So, uh, let's go to contents, third person, blueprints, character. And uh, right here, we're going to go to the replication graph. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to add a custom event which will be fire multi, which will be a multicast event. And from here, we're going to say branch. We're going to connect the condition right here and we're going to call it can fire, okay? And if we can, we're going to grab our end object. We're going to say get child actor and then we're going to send uh, the message to the weapon. So here we're going to say fire on this one and connect to the true if we can fire. And then we can say fire off and connect to the false if we cannot fire, okay? Now um, we're going to create the server events that we'll call this. So here we can say add custom event and call it fire server and this will run on the server like this uh, now we can call the fire multi 
and connect the can fire right here like this and uh, that's it so we can uh, comment this like this and say uh, fire weapon and move this over here and now we need um, to add a key to uh, call this event so let's go to the event graph uh, here we're going to say left mouse button and we only want to fire if we are aiming okay so here we're going to say branch we're going to get the uh, aiming variable and connect it right here like this and if we are aiming then we want to say fire um, server okay and we check the can fire to true okay and basically if we release the key we just want to say fire server again but we check the can fire to false okay like this and that's basically it so we can comment this and say fire weapon and uh, we should be able to fire our weapons so we can close all of this and hit play and if I pick up the pistol and try to shoot as you can see we can shoot the pistol and if I pick up the rifle it's automatic and everything seems to be working okay now we can also test this on the server so uh, we can go here and select three players play as listen server and hit play and as you can see if I pick up this weapon and now try to fire everyone can see me fire and if I pick up this rifle and try to fire everyone can see me fire so uh, that's it guys uh, I hope you liked it I hope you learned something with it and don't forget to subscribe